Let's say I want to trigger an action every time a specific event is happening on my website. For example, when a user submits a form, clicks on a button, enters uh, text in a search bar. To do this, I would use workflows inside WeWeb. Let's take the example of this form submitting that should submit a new ticket here and inside my Airtable database. To do so, I would select the form container, go to in the sidebar to the lightning icon and click on add a workflow. Then I would name it create ticket and select the trigger event. Here it's a form, so I want to trigger the workflow every time there's a submit in the form that's successful, so the unsubmit event. Then click continue. Now I have actions. I can have as many actions that I want. It's a bit like Zapier or Integromat. And actions are triggering in the order they are set every time the event is triggering. So for example, I can change a variable value, fetch a collection, change a page, or use some custom JavaScript. Here in the custom JavaScript, sorry, <laughs> I was just checking my windows. I will copy paste the snippet, but explain it to you just after. So what the snippet does, remember you can find everything in parameters, is that it will create a record inside our table in the tickets collection using the title, description, and user coming from the event form data title, the description form data description, so basically the title and the description of the form, and the user, the current user. Then I click continue, and you see I can add other actions. But here it's okay for this workflow, so I will go to preview, and then in this ticket, in the form, sorry, I can say, for example, um, Coda integration. I want to use Coda inside WeWeb. Create the ticket, and you see that it was added here at the end of my tickets list inside my app, and it's also created here in my um, Airtable base using the uh, anonymous username because I'm not currently logged in, but indeed I have my title and my description that I entered in my form.